Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Tundra Dude 34 YouTube channel. I hope you're having a great weekend. So today we're going to do something very simple in this 2020 TRD Pro Tundra. We're going to change a couple filters out. Now, the reason I'm making this video, well, really, there's two reasons. Number one, it's time to change some filters. Number two, I want to show you guys how simple it is to do and save you a little money if you are someone who takes their truck in for service. We're going to change out the engine air filter today and the cabin air filter. If you go to a dealership, uh, whether it be Toyota or really any mom and pop uh, service center or anything, every once in a while you will see a form like this. And this shows you everything on your truck or vehicle uh, that you know is good to go, will need service soon, or is in desperate need of service. You probably have seen after a couple trips to bring in your Toyota, maybe for Toyota care or something like that, you'll see that the yellow box is checked for the cabin air filter uh, or the engine air filter. Today, I'm going to show you how simple it is to change uh, yourself. The cabin air filter in the Toyota Tundra is in the back of the glove box. A very simple change there. You could buy that or the engine air filter we're going to change at sparksparts.com. Use promo code TUNDRADUDE34 to save 5%. In the description below, I will put the part number for the cabin air filter. Now, the engine air filter, I'm going to be changing my TRD air filter. This is it right here. Now, most of you know, this is a reusable air filter. This will last for the life of your Tundra. Well, you have to re-oil it uh, after a while to keep it going, to keep it performing the way it is designed. What I like to do, I'm one of those, that I just buy a new one every two years or so. It's about 50 bucks or so to buy the filter. So instead of doing the oil, uh, you know, re-oiling the filter, just every two years I'll buy a new one. So that's what we're gonna do today. Cabin air filter I like to do every two years as well uh, in my vehicle and my wife's 4Runner. So. Let's show you how easy it is to do. Save you a few bucks when you take your truck in for service. Let's get started. In case you don't know how to do this or have never done this, this is very simple. There's a few latches on the box. It's even like this on the stock box here. You just lift those latches. You pull this top up. You take the old one out. You put the new one in. Very simple. Okay, super simple. And you could also get that air filter if you have the regular stock box. This is the TRD cold air intake. But if you have the regular setup, that filter will still fit. It's like a K&N. You actually use the bottom part of the stock air box uh, with this new setup. So I will put that part number down in the description below if you're interested in the filter. Okay, so this is the old filter here. Not sure how good the camera is going to be able to pick it up. Like I said, I've had it in the truck for uh, about two years. We just did the two-year update, so that's when I like to change these things out. As you can see, um, it has a lot of leaves, dead bugs, stuff like that in there. Again, I can't hold it up to the light and show you while holding the phone, but there's a lot of little stuff down in here too. So like I said, if you want to re-oil and clean it out, you can do that. But every two years, I just really like to get a fresh one in there, uh, already oiled, no mess, no issue. But let me know in the comments below, are you someone that likes to re-oil uh, your filters like this, like K&N and K&N style, or do you just buy a new one every once in a while? Let's get to the cabin air filter now. So here's the box of your cabin air filter. Toyota genuine part, of course. This will be down in the comments, or excuse me, in the description below if you are looking to do this yourself. This is such an easy, quick way to save money. Now your cabin air filter is simply in the back of your glove box. So all you have to do is open her up and then just remove all the stuff you have in there like I will do right now and then we will get started. Okay, so everything is removed out of the glove box. As you will see, there's a little slide up and remove, almost like an old Nintendo cartridge back there. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna remove that, take out the old filter and put in the new one. It is literally that simple. This is why it's important to change your cabin air filter. 
Look at how dirty this is. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. Let me see if I could get you a better look. This is two years. There's all sorts of stuff in there. We got some bugs here and there, a lot of leaves, a lot of dirt, some grass. It's nasty. So it definitely is a must change. So let's get the fresh one out and put it in. Okay, now everything is back together, so I'm gonna reinstall the shelf that's in the glove box and all the stuff that I had in there. But as you can see, super simple, takes less than five minutes, no big deal. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that helps if you're someone who's never done the cabin air filter. I know a lot of people don't know where that's located, but you know what? Every dollar counts nowadays, especially when you have these 14 to 21 tundras. We don't have the best gas mileage, so every dollar we could save is something we could spend at the pump. So now you don't necessarily need to do this at service. It's quick, it's easy, nothing messy. It takes you under five minutes to do both at the same time. You just gotta remove all the stuff from your glove box and there's a cartridge in the back, done deal. Engine, air filter is really no big deal. Um, the stock box that comes on the Tundra and the TRD one that I have are very similar to each other. Like I said outside, uh, it uses the stock box bottom part. Uh, so it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, that is the same process if you had a regular uh, filter and not a TRD filter. It's the same exact process. No big deal. If you have a stock box and you want that TRD air filter um, Like I said, I will put that part number down in the comments below But if this helps one or two people, I'm happy with that I know a lot of you already know this stuff But always like to help everyone and let me know what you think in the comments below uh, Are you all about doing service yourself? Do you like to go into the service center and do you use Toyota? Love to hear what everybody has to say. Until next time, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, at TundraDude34, TundraDude34 gmail.com. Also, I mentioned this earlier, please let me know in the comments below if you just buy a new TRD air filter every few years or do you re-oil. Take care, everyone.